So this is a basic SketchUp model. And this is what Nano Banana Pro generated in 30 seconds. Today I'm testing out Nano Banana Pro, Google's new AI tool. Some of these results really surprised me. Let's see what it can actually do. I'm using Loveheart for this tutorial because they have integrated all the AI tools into one platform, but I'll leave links in the description for both Loveheart and the direct Nano Banana Pro link from Google, so you can try this yourself. So I'm starting with this basic SketchUp model, just geometry, nothing else. And my prompt is pretty straightforward. Create a realistic architectural photograph from this 3D viewport. Two-point perspective, midday, blue sky, photorealistic. I hit generate and 30 seconds later, look at this transformation. The AI added realistic concrete textures, generated appropriate vegetation around the building, created proper shadows and gave us a believable blue sky. It just understood what the scene needed. You can quickly check if an idea is worth pursuing and then just move forward from there. But here's where it really gets interesting. I'm uploading the same model again, but this time I'm adding some context with some basic annotations. So my prompt is, create a realistic image with pine forest in the background, mountain on the right, native bushes in the foreground, midday blue sky, photorealistic. <laughs> this is pretty wild. It kept the exact structure, the proportions are identical, but it completely transformed the environment. The materials now reflect this mountain context. It's really impressive how it maintains the building while completely changing everything around it. But AI isn't perfect. Let me show you where it struggles. I'm marking this area and asking it to add a blue truck in the foreground. Yeah, the truck placement is not great, as you can see. This is where you learn that AI won't magically solve all your problems. You still need to iterate and understand what you're doing. Now let's try changing the materials. Change the facade to vertical wood siding, bottom to dark brick material. Add a gravel path from the entrance stairs to the left edge of the image. Much better. Perfect material change, the path looks natural and integrates well, and everything else stayed consistent. And that's really the key difference between AI and traditional rendering. Traditional rendering is predictable, but slow. AI is fast, but it requires iteration. You are trading technical control for speed, and it's important to understand that trade-off. Now let's try something new. I want to create a point of view shot from a person walking up the ramp that leads to the house. So I'll say, create a POV shot from the person going up the exterior ramp. Well, the ramp changed shape and position, but the house stayed pretty consistent. Maybe this is something worth iterating on more, but I like the direction this is going. Now I'm going to upload a SketchUp viewport from the other side of the house and ask Nano Banana Pro to create the same environment for this SketchUp view. The results are quite good. I like the path integration and the overall consistency between views. Of course, the wood boards are running in a different direction and the vegetation probably isn't in exactly the same place, but this gives you a clear idea if this environment would work for your project. <laughs> now let's see how far we can push this. <laughs> Look at that, it's saying, I will transform this house into a Utah environment with the iconic red rock formations and desert landscape. And it actually did it. The materials and reflections of the house aren't perfect, but the overall environment transformation looks pretty good to me. Now, lighting is where AI gets really interesting. I have this old Lumen render. This is before ray tracing or path tracing. The interior lighting is a little bit flat. There's no light bounces, no color bleeding, no realistic shadows. It's functional, but not very convincing. Now, watch this. I'll say, generate a photorealistic version with street lights casting warm light into the interior. Keep all materials and structure identical. The results are good, but I think we can take this a step further. Turn on the interior floor lamp with warm lining. Change to an overcast mode. Change the flooring to wood. Keep everything else the same. Look at this evolution from the original flat render to this final photorealistic image. 
the lighting completely transformed the atmosphere. But here's the thing, I have no idea how AI calculated those light bounces. In traditional rendering, I control every single light source. I know exactly what's happening. Here, I'm just describing what I want and hoping the AI understands. That's part of the trade-off with these tools. Here's another cool feature I want to show you. I'm going to Times Square in New York and copying the GPS coordinates. Then I'll say, generate a photo from this place. Here are the coordinates. It's not the same exact spot, but it gives you approximate images from that location. You get the feel of that area. Let me try Paris near Notre Dame. See? Completely different architecture style. It understands the location context and what makes sense there. Now I'll say, generate a background view of a fifth floor apartment, overcast. This is perfect for creating realistic backgrounds for your architectural renders. You can generate multiple backgrounds that actually look authentic to the location where your project will be built. No need for site photography or stock images that never quite match. This is where AI used to completely fail, floor plans. Let's test Nano Banana Pro with a standard bedroom layout. From this floor plan, create a photorealistic image of a minimalist modern bedroom. And <laughs> look at this, it placed the bed correctly, added side tables in the right positions, the bathroom entrance is where it should be. The proportions aren't perfect, it's not architecturally precise, but the spatial relationships are actually accurate. Now let's try something interesting. Convert this photorealistic render into a 2D floor plan showing furniture layout. It correctly identified the bed position, the furniture placement, maybe that armchair shouldn't be exactly there, and for sure the measurements aren't exact, but the spatial relationships are accurate enough to be useful. What we are really doing here is using AI to explore ideas before committing serious time to detailed work. It's about speed in the early design phases. If you want to try Loveheart, they have very flexible plans starting at just $16 per month, which gives you about 2000 credits monthly. You can check their website to see which AI models each plan includes. And you can get up to 60% off subscriptions. The biggest sale of Love Art ever. Unlock 365 days of unlimited, zero credit Nano Banana Pro. The sale ends on November 30. This will be the lowest price of the year. And it's fun time only. Don't miss it. I'll leave links to both Love Art and the direct Nano Banana Pro from Google in the description below. So there you have it. Nano Banana Pro is a real powerful tool for architects and designers. I've already created more videos testing Nano Banana. You can check them out in the links above and in the description below. I'll keep testing the capabilities of this new Nano Banana Pro because I think it has a lot of potential we haven't fully explored yet. Now, again, I'm not saying this will replace your 3D work. What I'm saying is you can quickly test if your designs work even with just rough sketches, before diving deep into your 3D software. It's about efficiency in the early design stages. So if you found this helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more AI architecture tutorials. What should I test next? Drop your suggestions in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one.